the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video on the iPhone SE for AT&T prepaid guys so if you guys looking to get an iPhone on the cheap check out the iPhone SE um if you guys buy any iPhone from AT&T prepaid you guys will get a $45 account credit so the iPhone SE is $149.99 and if you get it with the $45 account credit it will be coming out to $194.99 now so um, yeah, that's what the iPhone SE looks like. Um, it's basically a uh, smaller version of, of the iPhone 6s. It, um, it, um, it has the um, specs of the iPhone 6s. So yeah, it says iPhone SE is the most powerful four-inch phone ever. It's a big step for small. So it does have a four-inch display there. So you'll have your camera, your earpiece, your screen there, your Touch ID there, and all that good stuff. And like I said, the iPhone SE on AT&T prepaid one forty nine ninety nine, and if you get the four pay dollar account credit, uh, do get that. It'll be one ninety four ninety nine. Get it while you can. Um. So yeah, you so you yeah, y'all guys should know what the iPhone SE looks like. Um, it's still relevant even though it's an an older device now. Um, it has a four inch retina display, five megapixel camera, four K videos at thirty frames per second. Based on HD camera with Retina Flash, Touch ID for secure authentication, and Apple Pay. iPhone SE features a 12 megapixel camera with 4K videos at 30 frames per second, a 4 inch retina display, A9 chip, long battery life, comes with iOS 11, which sets a new standard for the world's most advanced mobile operating system. So this does have iOS 11, so that's good. Um, it will get a couple, a couple more updates. Um, I, I think it came with iOS 9, I think. I think it did. I'm not really too sure about that. Uh, so the iPhone SE weighs 3.99 ounces, so not too bad. Um, it has a 4-inch display there right now. Um, display there. Um, 1136 by 640 pixels with about 326 PPI, PPI there. Uh. You know, six and nine colors, uh, rear camera, 12 megapixel eyesight camera with focus pixels and tree tone flash, aperture is at 2.4, 4K, yes, selfie mode, yes, um, 4K video recording at 30 frames per second, 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, and 720p HD videos recording at 30 frames per second, slow motion video at 720p at 240. 1.2 megapixel FaceTime HD camera with Retina Flash and HD video recording. It's probably some funny videos on the front. It, it, it has all these some, uh, camera features. Chipset is an A9 chip with 64 bit architecture and embedded M9 motion code processor. Yes, I think it's dual core at 32 gigabytes of storage. Available internal storage at the OS. Yes, mm. no, it's not expandable. No, it's not. This one says it has iOS 9, but I, I think it came with iOS 9, though. I think it did. And it has iOS 11 when you guys buy this phone. It has Siri and all that. It has LTE bands 4 and 17. It, it has HSPA backhaul. HSPA plus with enhanced backhaul. Wolf fan, it's a quad band HD voice, Wi Fi calling. ATT voice call capable, yes. Number sync, yes. Wi Fi connectivity. Ada two eleven A B G N and A C Wi Fi compatibility check the box for like all that. Different communication, yes, Bluetooth four point two, mobile hotspot, push to talk and all that. I thought it has push to talk and all that shit. It takes a name some card. It has iTunes music there. Apps Uh, you get built in apps from Apple apps, so you get camera, photos, health, messages, phone, FaceTime, 7, interesting, mail, music, wallet, safari, maps, calendar, iTunes store, app store, notes, news, context, iBooks, game center, weather, reminders, clock, videos, stock, cal calculator, voice memos, compass, podcast, watch, tips, iCloud drive, find my iPhone, find my friends, Free apps from Apple, iMovie, Pages, Keynote, Numbers, iTunes, U, Garbage Band, Apple Store, Trailers, Remote, Music, Memos, alright? 
web browser Safari, but you can download Chrome from the App Store. I suggest you guys don't do that because Chrome on browser, Chrome on mobile sucks in my opinion. Uh, you got all this shit here. You got iMessage and all that. Sensors it has a three axis driver, accelerometer, proximity sensor, ambient, ambient, ambient light sensor, fingerprint sensor built into the home button, Apple Pay. Um, has all this. I think all this is extra there. Oh, uh, so if you guys are looking to get an iPhone on the cheap and you guys want a small iPhone, the iPhone SE, it's worth it's worth checking out, especially on pre on especially on AT and T prepaid because we got buy an any iPhone you you can get an forty five dollar account credit, so you could get your uh month of service for free if you have a plan that's forty five dollars or less. Um, or you can have a cheap cell phone bill for one month. Uh, so for one hundred and ninety four dollars, it's not a bad deal. The iPhone SE is still relevant. It's um been out for a couple of years now. Um, it it will have iOS eleven when you guys get this phone. Obviously, um, it came with iOS nine, I believe it did. Um, so it does have iOS eleven out the box. So we'll get a couple more major software updates and all that. And the iPhone for SE is the most high performance phone ever. That's what Apple claims, but it um it basically has the specs of the iPhone 6s packaged into a small iPhone. If you guys are into small phones, you guys like the iOS ecosystem, check out the iPhone SE special on the AT&T prepaid. Like I said, it's 149.99 for the iPhone SE, but if you guys get a $45 account credit, it's 194.99. I suggest you guys do that for two for 195. It's a pretty good deal, and this phone will. Uh, this one will be relevant for another couple of years. So, um, yeah, guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.